All right, guys, we're doing a, another little Sacoholic segment here. Um, I didn't mention in the other video, this one's shorter. I'm going to do this video a lot shorter, but it was uh, Ryan that I did the trade with this, and I traded uh, another watch I had that he had his eyes on, which also has a Seiko movement in it. And he hooked me up with his 315 that he was not wearing, and it's pretty obvious that he wasn't wearing it because this thing is in perfect shape. So big thanks to Ryan for that. I'm very... Excited to have a 315 in my collection again. So, um, I watched Bruce's video earlier today on the baby snowflake. So, and he's going to be sending me that watch. I'm excited to take a look at it because I kind of like the dial on that one more than from the pictures anyway of the Grand Seiko. Plus, it's more obtainable for me, just like I'm sure it is for most of you. Um, that being said, I have not had a Grand Seiko in hand ever before so um, so but I want to show you something that Bruce pointed out to me earlier and maybe I'm not supposed to tell you but this is uh this is the internet this so this stuff's out there so um, this is a model that's going to be okay so that Japan uh, dash online store.com Go to their website or a bunch of these uh, Japan only uh, watch sellers. You can go to their website and you can start browsing around and you're going to find some stuff that you didn't think existed or you're going to find models that are due to come out that Seiko doesn't really tell us about. And the only way to find out is if you spend the time that a lot of us Seikoholics do and just look for yourself. So thankfully, Bruce told me about this one. Personally, I'm not a big fan of black watches. And I'm not a big fan of, uh, what is it called, faux patina or antiquing of the indices. There's something about this model, and this is not a great picture, but I think this thing looks great. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's just the uh, multiple colors. I mean, because we have a few different colors going on here. We have... Uh, you know, black, we have a gray, we have the antiqued uh, indices, we have the orange second hand, which looks amazing. Um, and then even the white day and date, which, you know, it would have cost Seiko a bunch of money, I'm sure, to match that to the indices. I, I don't know, but it, it matches the hour hand and the little dash of white on the seconds hand. So I think it looks great. I don't know if I can blow it up. Oh, you can see it a little bit better there. Oh. So you can see it a little bit better there. Well, you guys, I mean, go to the website and look it up. So, there is another model. Hold on a second. What is this? I think he said something about this one, too. See, I know I'm supposed to be showing you guys a video. Okay, yeah, he did say something about this. They're going to do a Pepsi Sumo, too. Which I've tried a couple sumos and for some reason I don't feel like I'm ever going to wear one on the wrist. But when you put one of these on the wrist, um, and I know some people with even smaller wrists like uh, Jorge in Chicago and he loves his sumo. Like this thing fits amazing on wrist even if you have a little bit smaller wrist. But if you have a 7 inch or plus wrist, um, you can definitely pull off a sumo and they feel great. It's the best bang for a uh, dollar for a, a Seiko, the case, and everything like that. But let's go back. I want to show you there's another one of this. I think Seiko's calling it the Black Series. Um, I don't know how, it may or may not be limited. So here's a solar model. I think they had another one of these out that was titanium. I'm not a big fan of the quartz solar of the Seiko. Um, they are great watches. I just don't connect with them like I do the mechanical watches, and I think the, that's the majority of um, the Seikoholics and watch nuts that we are. I think we're all kind of in that same camp. But just wanted to give you guys a quick look at these. Um, definitely, when you're bored, for whatever reason, sit down and punch in some of these uh, JapanOnlineStore.com and just browse the Seiko section. And then, you know, what, you know, there's a bunch of other ones. The uh, shopping online, shopping Japan, I don't know. There's a bunch of them. You guys can figure it out. If you've been into watches, you'll be able to find them. Or go to 
The other really good resource I found information on is uh, Watch You Seek. Even though for some reason I keep having difficulties with my password and I get logged out and then I can't get logged back in. It's a pain in the butt every time. But tons of great information on there. It's a great forum. So there's a couple new models. Let me know what you guys think about them. I kind of dig it. I'm looking forward to it. Those are going to be 2018 releases though. I'm pretty sure. Um even though it says in stock. Those are going to be 2018 releases. And then the yeah, and I did the conversion on that, on the Turtle, that other one. And I'm pretty sure in U.S. dollars on the conversion, current conversion for that 78,600 yen, I think that's like 700 U.S. dollars. A little pricey for me, but if it's a limited edition, if you can score a deal at one of the sub websites, that would be pretty sweet watch. Let me know what you think.